Okay. So what I did was I just reorganized my closet because I already had where everything worked in my closet. So I just, you know, categorized them. But I really need to purr. I keep putting my husband's in here. This was an accident. Anyway, we started folding his now. I'm not a folder. Anything you can hang up, I believe in hanging up if you have the space. I'm so passionate about that, that even if I didn't have the space, I'd probably have it ugly in my room or make it somehow cute, open to hang. Cause that's how I, I do not like folding. Unless you do it the right way, it messes up. Um, and you dig through and people don't put it back right. And I just want to see everything and go like this, you know. I'm going to come out here to purge is what I'm doing. So these look awful on me, but they're fairly new. Um, and they're going to be my, when I go into homes to decorate jeans. So, I mean, sometimes I'll wear them other places, but I don't know. I just don't feel my best in them, but I want to keep them. So they're keepers. I'm sticking them over here. American Eagle. I love them. They're almost this is the same style cut as that. So that's what I would put those in. These actually look more decent on me though. So same style cut. So you could do it in progression as in skinny jeans, boot cut, capris, you know, but some level of organization, those, there's people that want that. They want it like that. My level of organization, I want to be that person, but it's just, I yeah, I have other things I want to do worse. So for me, organizing, and there'll be clients like that too, all my jeans in one spot, whether they're progression or what, in one category, score. You could even go further down than that um, and just have all pants in one spot. Kind of how I did it before I was re-maintenancing my closet, okay? So both of her score whatever, um, some people's level of organization is I have all my pants in one basket, laundry basket. They don't fold them. They don't hang it. Hey, sometimes you have to get started wherever you can get started. And just knowing only my pants are in this basket. They're wrinkled. They're horrible. I'm still digging, but I'm only digging for the pants. Do you see the different levels? and the different personalities. And sometimes you want Pinterest worthy, you perfectionists out there. Perfectionists are known procrastinators. And then you never start and you get overwhelmed. And so you gotta say, what's realistic for my life? What can I live with? And guess what? You probably have a family. Not always. Sometimes you're single and you can do it however the heck you want. You want your um, panties in the kitchen? Go for it, okay? <laughs> but probably have a family and you need to work with them and their lifestyle too. It's not all about you. That's my biggest tip. Okay. It's a hard one. I know girls figure out what you are and what you can live with and just start there. Make it function first. We'll make it pretty later. Make it function first. We'll detail it out later. Okay. That's my, what I have learned in my personality and what I have learned with working with clients. Okay. So I'm not going to detail this out, but I've got to, I'm purging. So I might as well categorize them. Right. Okay. So American Eagle, again, it's my favorite brand for my body style. They're about dead. I mean, they need to go away, but I'm going with it. So skinny jeans. Okay. So I'm keeping these. I have hardly any shoes, literally hardly any shoes until just a few years ago. And I hardly had any jeans. It's crazy, like literally, and I don't know what happened. I went nuts and then I didn't let go. You know what I'm saying? These are passed down from my girl. Look, these are, th these make me want to cry when I put them on. They're too tight. My husband, I can dress however I want. He's fine with how I dress, but I know his personality, this is too attention grabbing to him. So I'm going to love you. I felt super cute in you at certain times, but you're too small and you're too holy. I'm letting this go. I found out where he was at on pants, okay? And I want him to think I'm cute and pretty and be proud of me, right? Okay. Now he did when I worked at the pharmacy, you're not supposed to wear these, okay? <laughs> so sometimes I got thrown in there and I didn't know it was going to work in there. And I had these on and I was just like, sorry, honey, here I am though. A warm body, real, willing to work, okay? But anyway, it's been a Sometimes you just have to, 
you have to process. You have to let, that's what I've learned with organizing. You are got to let the people process it. Sometimes um, with uh, things you've done, like in your kitchen, you're letting go of a dream. You're letting go of a life you used to have because you used to cook for 10 kids or you used to have a catering service, okay? So we let them, okay, so I'm processing the money I spent. These are the first girlfriend, let me tell you the story, okay? Because we sat and let the people tell the story and help them process. Um, in my brain, I'm like, what are we working on next? I'm still working in here, but I'm letting you process because I get it. I am a person too. So these are the first girlfriend, boyfriend cut jeans, whatever it is that I didn't look 20 pounds heavier in. This is silvers and they worked for my body style. It's too much. It's too much. It, they're, they're too much. Like they need some patches. Okay. I'm letting them go. I might take these to the consignment store. I might get some money for these. Okay. So I have an etc. shop. I, this is how I do it. I do Daisy Exchange, Plato's Closet, um, and I go to one and what they don't take, I usually get some for the next one. This one you got time, okay? And then after that, it goes to the etc. shop. Sometimes I'm in a place in my life, I might just start out with the etc. shop, which is our local donation people, which are not taking anything else in January because everybody's doing this, right? They're purging. Okay. The deal is you don't want to dig them back out, okay? You put them in a closed container because if you see them, you're like going to dig them back out, okay? These look like crap on me. These are rock and sea. I don't know what they are. I think my girl gave them to me, but I have enough boot cut work jeans. I'm gonna let them go and I can get some money for these. These are in good shape. Look, okay, I'm gonna let them go. This was easier for me because I didn't, well, I probably bought these if these were my girls, but anyway, let them go. We, pa we pass it around here, okay? All the girls and um, sometimes friends. Okay, this one, this makes me real sad because my paint usually comes out, but this had a top coat in it. It didn't come out. So I just feel like I'm not fresh and clean in the morning. Even though I might wear them 10 times, that makes me feel like I'm a painter and, uh, and professional organizer. I have an art studio and paint custom furniture for pieces, and I hardly ever have paint on my clothes. It's crazy. Okay, so, um, but, so these make me, <laughs> they're those American Eagle ones. Okay, I'm gonna set these aside in the, um, so normally you start with a, a get rid of, relocate, trash, right, pile. Those are the good, but with clothes it's a little different. Um, think about it, which you really don't, that's not the best thing to do because then you'll, yeah, but anyways, for now. And just to move along with the process when I'm working with a client, I'm like, just throw it in the think about it. So let's just get it done and then we can detail it, right? So. I think I'm gonna keep this for when I am painting with paint that doesn't come off like wall paint, you know, and all the stuff. So put this in my think about it. Pretty good. I did pretty good. Okay. 